Welcome to part 5 of the Space Project. As you can see I've actually added two more nebulas, a blue one and a green one. And if you just look at the previous tutorials, all I did there was adjust the colours for that scale. And this time we're going to create a galaxy. So you need the galaxy to be below the moon. So click on the last nebula you've got, add a layer and call this galaxy. Then use your line tool, and this time I've kept my primary as white and I've kept my secondary as blue. Then use your line tool, set it to be quite thick, 80, I might try 100 in this one, and then literally just put a line straight across in the middle. Use the magic wand, select that line, fix, render clouds. Then you can adjust your scale as you wish and roughness as you wish. I'm going to go for maximum roughness there. OK that. Now, deselect it, edit deselect with the shortcut key control D. And then this time we're going to go to effects distort twist. Now can change things here. We've got to be careful though is that your black cross is right in the middle of your line. That will do. So you've got that little swirly bit there. You can change the amount of uh, direction. There are quite a few circles. You can even change the size like so. I want to get mine to be quite big. Okay that. Now this time we want to get rid of these sort of edges because that's a bit of nonsense. So I'm going to unhide, sorry, hide the moon so I can see what's going on. And then I'm using my eraser tool, set it to be quite big. I'm just going to erase that. Don't be too worried because you're not really going to see this. So just get rid of the edges like so. Bring back the moon, and then last bit go to the layers and then rotate zoom now we can do here you have a ball here and it starts off like that already maximize the zoom and you just adjust this to how you want it so if you want a galaxy that's sort of that at an angle if you want it flat that's totally your preference I'm gonna have a slight angle and then I'm just gonna zoom it in so it fills up the space a lot more Again, totally up to you what sort of effects you want to have on your work. We'll get a little bit bigger. Okay, and that's how you create a galaxy. Thanks for watching.